Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about where was you God when I gave up on everything. So you know it, this is obviously not a good easy subject to talk about in some ways but you know life life comes and goes you know circumstances come and go but not always will we ever struggle for the rest of our lives with problems not all of our lives will will, will constantly be in turmoil with problems because at, at some point something's got to give and it's not you that gives up it's it's the circumstance that gives up as long as we hold tight to god or hold tight to god's word I know some of you might be thinking that that Christianity can't be the only answer, but the good news is it that it is the only answer. Our problems won't go away, but our circumstance will, as we stick stick to Christianity, stick to God, stick to Jesus. As time goes by, our lives will get, our life will get better. I've heard this from. I've heard this from Joyce Meyer as well, and I've also experienced it me me personally. I've experienced it as well. I've had 34 years of turmoil my whole life, practically, and now I can see I'm living living a very peaceful life, a very happy life. But even though it's difficult right now, just keep at it because. In due season, you will reap what you what you sow. Like it says in the Bible, you 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 will get double you will get double for your shame. It says that in the Bible. A church never revealed it. It was a Christian TV that revealed it. And it says for your sh it says in the Bible from my vague from my remember now. It says you you will receive double 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 for your shame. And me personally, I've received it already. It started in April 2017, and it's still going strong. So you know, I've been, I've been, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not planning to be single for long. And I've been rejected by over 21 women, but still, I'm willing to pick, to to pick myself up, dust myself off, and look and look forward, look forward to the future. No matter how hard it gets, there you you can always overcome your problems. Like the Bible says, there's no there's no there's no greater sin that, than what is that it than what is common to man. So you can overcome it. You know, giving up is never an option for me, and it shouldn't really be for you. You know, being giving up on things is just it's just it, we're just being lazy. Let let's. Let's be open here, please, because and it is a fact as well. It, the easiest thing you can do in the world is to give up. That's the most easiest thing you can do. But 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 the, but the most pleasurable thing you can do, and the, and the hardest thing you can do as well as well at the same time, is to is to pick yourself up and carry on, cry and carry on, wipe your tears and carry on. Even though times are hard now and again or times are hard constantly just pick yourself up be a soldier be a be a woman be a real woman be a real man and and pick yourself up and, and dust yourself off and pray a little and then say it's no problem i can do it like what jesus said when he when he when he was about to die on the cross when he's when he's on, when he was on the journey to die on the cross he said he said to his he said he said to his mom Mary look I make things all new brand new look at Jesus hang on hanging on the cross he shouted in shouted to the heavens and and, the, and on the earth he said it is finished he hung on the cross and he said it was finished every trial every problem every temptation is finished don't go away away in the from watching this video without without 
without understanding Jesus Christ, without understanding God. Don't turn you don't don't turn away without actually thinking about it deeply whether you want to whether you whether you should or should not be a Christian. If anything, just contact me. So don't 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 just look don't just watch this video and think that you know it's a load of rubbish. You know you know your your life is at stake, your happiness is at stake here. It's something that we shouldn't really mess about with, even the even even with the afterlife. You know don't let our don't let your emotions di dictate what you what your future holds for you. You dictate your future you di dictate your future by the evidence that you you have seen with me but by what I've said. Look 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 purely on the evidence. Research Christianity on its own. Don't re don't don't re research any other any other any other any other any other religion that calls themselves religion. Just re re research the, the one faith, Christianity, because it's not a religion. You know, Jesus, Jesus is the answer, but we can discuss things if you want to. There is, you know, I'm not going, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be black and white on you. I'm, I, I'm always open to this. I'm always open to open to open to discussions, and I'm not here to prove you wrong. I'm only here to give understandings. So that's really all I have to say in this video. So let me pray before we before I finish. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy you put upon us. Thank you for past, present, and future, O oh God. Pray grace and mercy be upon us, O oh Lord Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ on our situation. Pray not to fall upon our situation. Pray, Heavenly Father, your grace and mercy will reign upon us, O oh God. Fill us with your peace, O oh God. Fill us with your knowledge, O oh God. Fill us with your understanding of, of, of prosperity and peace and wholeness and, and happiness, O oh God. True happiness, O oh God. Not fake happiness. Not temporary happiness, O oh God. But fill us with long-lasting happiness, O oh God. Help us in our trials and temptation and, and tribulation, O oh God. Help us help us in, in, in the midst, Father. For you come you come to us, O oh God. In, in the midst of the storm, you, give us, you can give us peace, O oh Lord. We pray by grace and mercy, moving our lives, moving our situation and circumstances, Father, in the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ on our situation. We pray and we command, we pray and command it. We pray and command these problems to stop right now in Jesus' name, Father. We pray for these circumstances to be healed in Jesus' name. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ on our situation. We pray for salvation for this, for the, for, the, for our lives, O oh God. We pray for salvation in in these circumstances, in these circumstances, Father. We pray these things all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, gals. Contact me when you're ready. Bye for now. Peace with you.